All right, start of day 60, the big six zero. Uh, yeah, I was able to keep dry underneath that uh, awning, or oh, pavilion, which was nice. Uh, there was actually a flush toilet nearby too, so that was, that was nice too. Uh, all right, so it's about, 8.20 right now. I've been walking for about five minutes. And I plan on doing a big day today. Probably 23, 24 miles. To make up for the... The, <laughs> the lazy day I had yesterday. With the rain. Uh, it's still going to rain today, but not nearly as bad. For, uh, the first bout of it's supposed to come out around 11. So i got three hours of dry ahead of me. Then after that... It's off and on all day, so, and that's, yeah, so that, hopefully doing that 23, 24 miles will get me to the, the Valley View Shelter, which is the, apparently is made by the Valley View College, that's near my, nearby, and, uh, yeah, yeah, that's sure that should be helpful, <laughs> as I get another shelter in today. So, right, start hiking as I go along the side of the road to get to back to the trail because the pavilion I was at wasn't exactly on the trail, but I think it was the best option option for when it was downpouring when it was. But yeah, ready to start moving. All right, there. All right, so we're about right here. Well, at least I am. And we're gonna go to right about here. It's gonna be good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the plan. And eventually I'm gonna end up all the way up here somewhere. But yeah, it's not. This is a pretty extensive trail going all the way around this rather large lake. And uh, yeah. Let's get to it. Hopefully it's not too muddy or I can get out of it before it starts raining again. Which would be way too much to ask for. Right there. Another decent river. It's early in the day. My feet are dry. So I think I'll put on my uh, Crocs. Yep. All right. Yeah, I don't think I can make it over there. All right, later. All right, action shot, right? <laughs> As I go across, it's not that wide. Probably not that deep either. I think that's the only real big one for the day. Yep. Now I gotta put my shoes back on. Alright, later. Alright, I'm trying to find my way around this muddy mess. It's a nice big flat plain where the trail is, so there's really nowhere for the water to go. I'm just trying to get through this before it starts raining again. And it gets even worse. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of off the trail just trying to stay dry because that big muddy mess in the middle of there is the trail. So. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Fun times. I think this is it. Yeah. whole trail is just one big money mess but it's part of the fun right 
All right, there. All right, I'm crossing the dam. They probably made the big lake. That was the visitor, visitor center on the other side. The bathroom, which I need. But uh, yeah, in case you take a break. But it's, yeah, it's not raining that bad, at least compared to yesterday, but it's raining. All right, on my way. This is the William H. Harsha Dam. There's the sluice on the other side. All looking pretty cool. All right, later. I'm in a nice, warm visitor center. The bathroom's over there, so. And it's raining outside. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my time here, even though I got about 17 more miles to do today. It's almost 12, but rather than I do that in the rain, as I relax. <laughs> All right, later. All right, on my way out of the visitor center. A little bit better. Well, it was open. Mm -hmm. They just let me stay there for a bit. Stay there for about 40 minutes. Uh, just to wait till uh, one particular. Relatively heavy hatch of rain to pass by, which it did. Now I'll keep on going. Uh, so it's about 12:40, and I got about 16 and a half miles to go, which I should be able to do. Um, seven and a half hours, maybe a little bit more, to get to the shelter. And uh, the heavy, next heavy bit of rain is not supposed to start till five, so hopefully. I'll warm up a little bit. And, uh, yeah. But it is still sprinkling right now. So, can't get, can't avoid it that much. But, yeah, almost done with this lake. So, yeah. When I'm done with that, I'll move on to Cincinnati. Which is pretty much, hopefully, I get there tomorrow. That's, that's the goal. All right, later. So I've gotten away from the lake and I'm actually on a road, which is nice. Well, it's nice not to be walking in mud. So I can be on a trail when it's not, yeah, mud and water, it'd be good. But this is uh, a lot faster to walk on, that's for sure. Uh, it just, it's a nice spray of mist and sprinkling right now, which should be like that for the next half, oh, half hour or so. But uh, yeah, fun times. So tomorrow, it's a day off from the rain. So as I go into Cincinnati, but after that, it starts raining again. And thunderstorming again, so more fun. Yeah, April is not being nice to me. That's for sure. All right, there. All right, it's two fifty, and uh, yeah, For some reason I'm starting to feel well, not so hot right now. So I'm gonna try to find somewhere to camp nearby and uh, get in my tent before it starts raining again. Which is supposed to in about like an hour or so. So, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's stomach problems. Yeah, I gotta listen to my body. So, another uh, short day, shortish day. I've done about 15 or so, so far. Well, maybe 13 or 14. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just not doing as uh, going as far as I should be able to go each day. It's gotta be this weather, you not know, being wet and cold all the time. So, yeah, that affects uh, what you can do. So, plus it's uh, been two months straight of walking. Generally, it's only like three or four days off, so that that adds up as well. But. Yeah, I'm gonna 
So let's take a rest today, which means I probably won't, be, I won't make it into Cincinnati tomorrow, which was my initial plan. But yeah, I could take another couple shortish days, 15 miles or so, less than that, to get to Cincinnati, uh, Covington. Then have a hotel stay. But yeah, just in general, not going as fast as I should have. All right, later. All right, end of day 60. Um, not the blockbuster day I was hoping for, but uh, yeah, I started, well, I've been sort of digestive problems all night, all, all day, and well, last night too. And yeah, and, and that when that happens, uh, the food you're intaking uh, doesn't, uh, isn't as nutritious as you, you would hope. And so, after like seven hours of walking in that condition, your uh, your energy levels just plummet. Uh, so I felt it coming, and I didn't want to deal with that while it was raining. And yeah, so I just called it for the day. I think did around what did I do like 13, 14 miles a day. Probably a little bit more, like maybe around 15. Um, yeah, not the 23 I was going to go for, but yeah, you got to listen to your body when uh, it starts protesting like that, uh, just so hopefully it doesn't last as long as it could, because that usually means that my immune system is down, and so the more stress you put it under that it's not used to, the more likely you just going to get sicker and sicker, so you should stop when you can. And uh, the good news is it's not going to rain tomorrow. <laughs> so, well, it shouldn't anyways. And uh, just a couple more, a couple more hours of rain today, and then that should be it. So, looking forward to that. Um, and uh, it does delay, pretty much delay my entry into Cincinnati by a day, but that's okay. So I should be into Covington two days from now, which is actually better uh, hotel-wise because that's a uh, Sunday night, not during the weekend. So it should be a little bit cheaper. All right, well, that's enough for today. I'm going to go try to go to sleep. All right, later.